Inverted Cow here. Welcome you to my Minecraft uh, series. We're just going to take a quick look around about my old original single player world. Um, as you can see, I'm where I originally started. Yeah, this is where it all began. I'm feeling a little upside down. I'm not sure why. Be right back with you after I get everything straightened out. Just having a little fun with the shaders options. It's okay. It wasn't your computer, it was me. Um, I want to welcome you to my Minecraft series. Uh, I've been asked by a few people to actually do one. So I'm going to have a little bit of a preview, some of the builds I've done on my own, on my own single player world. And uh, then I'm going to show you the server world later. So we're going to jump around a little bit and everybody can get to know me a bit. I'm not sure if uh, I should do let's play, long play, how to build, whatever. I do a lot of personally, I do a lot of big builds, little builds, kind of weird builds. So right here, we're going to start where it all began. Oops, I hate iron doors. This is my very first and last derpy dirt house. I have done a few improvements to it since then, including the top there, which is made out of ice. Before I found out they, they didn't have silk touch, was not an enchantment when I built that. That was entirely poured in place, one bucket of water at a time. Um, my, my single player world here, I had no villagers. I have not found a single villager, but I did do a little work on building a village. Um, by the way, I'm using the John Smith Texture Pack, in case anybody's interested. And I will be for the most part. I prefer Mesa's, but um, Optifine and MC Patcher are too glitchy for me. These are just straightforward townhouse kind of places. Uh, little apartments. I figured if I found some villagers, they move on in. Everybody has a little room. This is the red brick with cobble and stone. They're all the same. Apartments. Just to look interesting. And uh, yeah, it still snowed here back when I last played this game, so 1.7 doesn't snow anymore. I last played this on 1.5. So it's been a while. So if I get lost, don't worry about it. This is another set of... These are basically designed after London row houses. Um, they're skinny, they're tall, and just an apartment. We'll probably build these, some of these on my server world later. Um, I'm not sure on the colors or patterns or anything. There's a staircase. Pretty basic, pretty drab. Um, what else did I build here? Not much. This was my starter village. I kind of played with this for a while, and then I got bored and went someplace else. Build a house. Did never finish. Well, no, this got windows in it. Um, and a farm. Access to some mine shafts and stuff like that. Yeah, it was kind of fun. Let's see. Over here in the desert, this is the old biomes. Over here in the desert is my very first jungle temple, which like every jungle temple I found, has nothing in the bottom because the bottom opens into, yes, a ravine. My wife can find them left, right, and center like nothing. I find them. I find them and they always open into a ravine. Always. It's just the luck of the cow. Okay, here we are at the swamp uh, build that I tried. This is a set of that I tried to make. This was made entirely in the swampland. Um, my castle, or my starter house is just over here someplace. Uh, of course, I actually used dirt because I wanted it to grow grass on top, and I never did. Uh, that was more because I didn't know how to do it. I also made my first um, dock, and lighthouse. Um, 
sure if I'm going to take you all the way to the top. It's kind of boring. It's just a big open <laughs> tower you can see for miles. Uh, what else did I build here? Uh, I got to learn how to play with uh, benches, sugar cane, and uh, lily pads. The other thing I built here was a uh, was a, another little house. This was on the on the waterfront here. Again, it's just a couple little apartments. But somebody had made me a challenge. They said you can't get villagers to grow underground. So I made a underground apartment using the apartment design that I still haven't had a chance to test. I started building an underground apartment. Now this is all the way down to bedrock, um, and it's pretty much the same uh, same plan as what I had before. So it was just a small apartment, little little oven. It's an oven in there, a table. Um, the garden, uh, put waterfalls and gardens where the waterfall actually looks fairly good. But I also had these vines that were growing off this tree and I left them to grow. And they actually grew all the way down. Now, I don't know if I can get to a point where I can see. I'll try. I can see all the way down. And this was all built on survival, on hard on survival. Yeah, you can see them all the way down. Now I'm going to see if I can scoot down to the bottom here, right back. So here we are down near the bottom in the uh, up underground apartment. Again, like I said, I never found any village anywhere. But this is all built on hard on survival. As I do all my building. I, I ran into a little lava problem, of course, and I just blasted over. Um, but then I used the lava as well. Once I got to bedrock, I used the lava to uh, fill in holes around the bedrock to give it some additional lighting because it's dark. And it's just it's like a solid glass block thick underneath the bedrock. And honestly, I never had a problem with this tree. It was really kind of funny. I planted the tree on top of the bedrock, so it was one square up on the bedrock and the tree, and it never set on fire, so it was kind of kind of cool. I never expected it to grow at all, but there we go. And yeah, I put lava flows in the wall behind it here to get some extra light in this area. Um, and that eliminated the mob spots. Yeah, so that was it for my my preview of my young oh, my first encounter in and we'll move on to another part of my world. Now here we are at the next place that I went, the jungle. And as I stated incorrectly before, it was a desert temple that I found, not a jungle. This was a jungle temple. I found it. Uh, right here, what we're looking at right now is my first venture into the nether. It's actually an underwater nether portal. I built it by pouring the lava into the water, underwater, because I didn't have a diamond pickaxe. That right here was my first um, jungle temple that I found. I did a little modification to it, of course. I turned it into a bit of a base. As you can see, I put some nice lava flows coming out of the, off the top of it, give it some detail. And then I built a little bit of a wood village up behind it. I built a dock here because boats were supposed to actually work, but every time they bump into anything, they always break. So uh, Minecraft says they fixed it, but we're not entirely certain. But then I added a village to the back side of it, and coming up here, and actually went up into the treetops here. And again, it's the same apartment style as I used before. Small, simple apartments. I never did find a villager. Oops, come on, up the ladder. Upstairs. Now, I did, at one point in time, I did make a couple iron golems. I don't know if they're still hanging out around. Oh, I got one guy still hanging out here. Kind of dirty. 
derpy iron at all, but hey, whatever. Um, I had a cat, too. I actually managed to save a cat at one point in time. However, he drowned within the first Minecraft day. Yeah, that was kind of funny. Um, there's the top of the lava flow. Again, it's just, it's just glass uh, panels. Um, I pillared up on dirt, put a glass panel down, I put lava in it, made it look pretty. And I built this, I put dirt on the roof and planted trees on top. And yeah, it went kind of great. It's a lot of fun. Again, it's the same apartment style. I just used jungle wood in it as much as I could. Of course, this is, of course, is a pet peeve of mine too. This is all the natural jungle wood. Let me just show you here. Uh, I'm going to go to options and resource packs. And we're just going to bump these guys off for a second. There we go. I like the red color of the jungle wood. And with the new 1.7 came out just recently, and then the new um, Asia, uh, Asia wood, however you want to pronounce it. I love the orange color. And the John Smith texture pack that I'm using completely butchers both colors. It washes them both out. So eventually I'm going to have to do is customize my own pack. And I'll probably do that on video as well. So that if anybody else decides to do it, they can have fun with it. Because I like the redwood. With uh, Mises pack, the redwood trees actually look like redwood trees. And I'm sure that the Asea wood will look really nice too. I noticed that old Derpy here, he never changes. So I'm guessing that they never made a golem skin for the John Smith pack, which is kind of lame, but whatever, no big deal. Uh, I, li I like that pack. My wife really chose it more than anything. Uh, Alright, so we'll just move on to the next part of the build that I've done, and then we'll get on to something else. Just landed uh, from my boat ride, uh, and we're now at my last last build I made on this server, or on this uh, world. Um, this was entirely inspired by uh, YouTube person Daedalus822. This was all stuff that I got off of his, his world and his ideas. So just in case you're wondering, yes, I did copy him. All right, let's get out of this silly boat and start moving. What I found over here was in fact a witch hut. Now, since 1.7 came out, nothing loads quickly. This was all swampland, this whole area. That was all ocean. And this over here, back here, you'll see it eventually start to load. It was all desert. So what I did is I made a base here. This was actually going to become my main base. Um, it was sandstone, but it also I was putting in a sorting system. As you can see, I'm playing with redstone. I was putting in a redstone sorting system. Uh, craft sorting system based on his design or his modification of the design made by Seth Blink, made by AC Tennis, made by about four other players. Um, all right. As you can tell, 1.7 has made it actually work than it ever was before. And I don't feel like switching back. Yeah, that's. Um, hold on a second, I gotta dance around a little bit. Okay, here we are again. Um, I just had to come out here so this would actually load. Uh, this was a witch hut. Uh, I turned it into the... Not quite complete, I haven't built a top or canopy. This was all going to be a light bar at one point in time. Uh, 
that was going to be where the light bar was going to go in, and then this was the trench. That was a waterway at the bottom. Um, of course, I kept running into problems. I know I'm on peaceful now, so you're not going to have it happen, but um, I have climbers with a would spawn in here, as well as actually uh, squid, and they get stuck down at the end, down here at the end, and I had to fix that up, so I'll show you what I did with that, and then we'll move on with the tour. Okay, here we are at the other end of the, the waterway, and... button on and it activates a little lava pool. Got so much stuff going here. Flag it out, keep it up. Have a little lava blade to stick out. And then the large size climbers will get roasted and break up. Uh, the smaller ones would fall down and the second size would fall down and the very small ones would fall to the bottom. And I'll show you what I did collecting those guys. Here we are at the end of the waterway. Uh, I put another lava blade down here at the end. So basically what happened is slimers would fall to the bottom and it would push them in. Every now and then I get but um, for the most part slimers and then their bodies would drop down and fall into the fed into this chest, and as you see I got squid, the drop, ink pack, and the bottom of the And then that lets me collect all the mob drops that came through here. Uh, something else I did too is I hooked this up to a overworld gold farm, basically a half a dozen portals hooked up into a room at the far end of the water slide, and yeah, it would actually keep all pigment in Also down here, where I built my first uh, 1.6 game open, and I had the craft in it, 1.5 or 1.6, I had the ability to craft uh, canned items. I started making a library, and uh, let's see, my first fireplace, this was my first attempt at a fireplace, actually looks pretty good, and on the wall here, Oh, I got too much stuff running. My first hidden room. Uh, this was eventually going to end up having a roll of chests in here, and it would feed off from the sorting system that I have upstairs, which is what's causing the lag in this area, which is why I get so, so weird. Yes, I was actually playing the computer at this speed, so... If you happen to have a spare, extra spare computer you want to get off of, no problem, I'll accept it. Okay, here. I'm not sure what this one is, it's not holding properly, but uh, it's part of the Johnson and Texture Pack, right? Nothing ever works. Every, every update, something always goes bad. Um, this was a sorting room. Again, this is all an auto sorter. I would load items into, uh, into the chest here by the oven. It would fire it through, dump it into whatever location you want, uh, where everything was sorted. And I was getting it so pretty much everything sorted out all on its own. Hold on a second. I'm going to see if we can speed it up just a little bit here. There. Turn those resource packs off. Of course, with the Mises pack, these benches all form um, a really, really cool workbench. Um, at least until uh, 1.6 updated, in which case, uh, MC Patcher, I believe, became outmoded and they. Yeah, it does stop working. I'm kind of disappointed. My Minecraft likes to focus on third-party stuff too much. It makes it so it 
I'm not playable. I personally, as much as I enjoy the 16-bit graphics of single player, oh, the diamonds was not on the other screen. Yeah, the, the item screens are what's causing me to lag. That and the fact that I probably got like 20 or 30 cows up to the I can walk out and step into my lab at this point. Now, just real quick here, take you up there. Oh, as quick as I can at one frame per second. <laughs> as you can see, this is the, the guts of the disorder. It's all poppers. This is all built in survival. Everything I did was in survival, so these were all fine. I didn't have an iron golem farm or somebody rigging up a thing to generate iron for me. Strictly um, me down digging holes in the earth for months on end. Uh, it's mostly complete. I have never fin actually finished it, but uh, who knows? Maybe I'll come back. Um, I made a second layer. Now these ones were only smaller, um, and with poppers, everything flows downhill. So I needed a way to flow stuff to the top. That's what this rail is about. This is where it all begins. And the very first item in the hopper, very first sorter in the hopper, was torches to find. Keeps everything from getting logged up. If you ever throw a mine, keep it out. The hopper runs down and back over the far side of the world, and then downstairs, and then back downstairs, and circles back and forth all over the place. Stuff actually goes through here quite well. Uh, yeah, oh, I guess I'll take you upstairs. I'll show you the cow. Much as the legs let me go. This was actually uh, four stories or five stories high. This structure, half of it's underground. Uh, I made this as the garden. So as I said, this is going to become my main base. Um, yeah, these guys are another reason I'm lagging so bad right now. Is they're at the point where I was have squatted. I made. These were supposed to be gardens and pens. These were gardens here. No. Cow. <clears throat> and yeah, these were gardens. Uh, on Mises pack here, these dead bushes, they actually have three or four different kinds of dead bush. Now, I'm not loading Mises pack because my frame rate will drop so, so far that um, Basically, this whole computer just has a heart attack on the front end and, and uh, craps at the same time. So, um, if you're wondering, I'm running this uh, out of the box Fueler Packer that's laptop. So it's kind of laggy. But uh, yeah, next stop is going to be the new multiplayer server that I'm on. See you there.